the great pandemic of 2020 changed our lives at a civilizational level. As lockdowns came into force, normal life came to a grinding halt. Yet many of us were able to adapt because of one fundamental reason. COVID-19 happened in the age of the internet. This graphic shows how quickly people replace public gatherings with virtual ones. As Wall Street, Main Street and schools went online, people began to notice a change in air quality. The silver lining appeared to be that nature was healing. But if we know one thing about the universe, it's that there's no free lunch. In order to work from home over Wi-Fi, we need a vast infrastructure of raw, hard material. This is a fibre optic underwater internet cable. Dozens of materials protect the internet from harsh currents, earthquakes and the occasional shark bite. There are over 380 underwater cables in operation around the world, spanning more than 1.2 million kilometres. That's almost three times the distance from the Earth to the Moon. Satellites carry a small but crucial share of communication and have their own material needs. The solar panels on these satellites require exotic metals like indium, cadmium and tellurium to keep them running. Back on Earth, there's a massive network of internet servers running behind the scenes, storing and transmitting every video chat, social media post and email. Every server requires an impressive list of raw materials. Some of them are extracted by hand, like tungsten from Uganda. Our investments in these raw materials have paid off well. Despite record unemployment, the internet made our economy more resilient than any other pandemic in history. However, access to the internet isn't evenly distributed. Consider the school districts that lack household internet in the US. The map is quite stark, particularly in rural and Native American districts. The developing world still has a massive digital divide. There are almost a billion people on the planet without access to electricity, let alone the internet. In order to survive the next pandemic, we'll need to expand the networks that helped us get through this one. This means mining, powering and recycling more raw materials. The United Nations recognised this when it announced the Sustainable Development Goals for the planet in 2015. As we move to the post-pandemic world, let's not forget the infrastructure that made us resilient. Let's dig deep into the supply chains of these technologies and ensure they're responsibly sourced and evenly distributed.